Okay, <laughs> welcome back to, to Breslov and Prat here at Shira David. Okay, Baruch well, Hashem. All right, we should have a wonderful day and our, all our soldiers should be protected and oh, yeah, 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 all of them. We have guys down south, guys in the middle of the country, guys up north, right? Unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, and uh, Hashem should protect us from that uh, fellow that's coming here today. <laughs> You know that, right? But he has here a Shemaya. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway, let, let's learn, and that's the best thing that we can do. So we're in Lakutei Alochas, Hilchas Birchas Hashachar, and uh, today we're going we're gonna, to, we're, we're up to Bayes, but Bayes, we're going to see now, is really included in, in Aleph of Azam, so we'll, we'll see, here we go. Hilchas Birchas Hashachar. Aloha Beis, Nechleles, Bilchas Hashkomas Haboyka, Aloha Aleph, Apostle Gazama Lekai Beoidi. And we, uh, well, you probably don't remember, we learned this uh, about a year and a half ago, <laughs> or maybe a little longer. So, so Reb Nussin says that really I gave you this lesson here, was already previewed in there. So, what was that? What was that? Uh, we, we say these words every day. Azama Lekai Beoidi. Right? It's the first of the Halukas that we say every day, right? I will praise you, Hashem, however I am, with whatever I have now, right? However I am, whatever, however I find myself today, I will find praise for you, Hashem. However it is, whatever it is. I may find myself in a great mood, I may find myself like this, that, the other way, but however I find myself, I will praise, sing to you, Hashem. And that's really what David HaMelech did, right? David HaMelech and all of his challenges and his Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> did, did anyone have more problems than David HaMelech in their lives, right? And the David HaMelech is always singing and praising Hashem however he can. Ba'idi, however I find myself. And that's what we learned, and that's what we learned that we have to find in the Kudas Toivah, right? When we learned that, right? It's so important to be mechapes in the Kudas Toivah in us every day. What? Yeah. You got it there? You're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. I'm right, we have, we, have to, we have to be mechapes to Niku, the Toiva, and that's what gives us the, uh, the, to find the good points, right? Every day we have to attach ourselves to good points. When we attach ourselves to the good points, so that gives us the uh, ability to azamel lekai ba'oidi, however I am, because I find myself always connected to the Rabbein Shalom. Okay, so now we'll go to Halacha Gimel, all right? And this is where I started yesterday. We made a mistake, but we'll, we'll get it right today. Okay, here we go. Uh, Aleph, you see? Uh, Gimel Aleph, okay. Yeah, yeah. Kad Shema Kol Tarnagoyla. Right, when we hear, when we hear the, the crow of the Tarnagol, the rooster, right? We, we spoke about that yesterday, yeah. right? We said that every day there's, a, there's an announcement that goes out from, from Hashem. When are you guys going to come back to the Torah? When are you guys going to return, Right? And what is that? Hashem does that through the rooster, right? The rooster is the is the is the is is what we can what is what we hear, but really, what's the rooster telling us? It's giving us the message of Hashem. Unbelievable, right? No, that's the message. That's the message the rooster is giving us. Yeah, come back. You want me to get you a uh, a little rooster for yeah. your um, your boy. <laughs> Amen. No, I'm usually up before the rooster. <laughs> so it's okay. Baruch Hashem. You just give me another thing to do and I won't have to wake up the rooster. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we, we studied that yesterday, remember? That the Kodesh Baruch gives the rooster, he gives him the bina, right? We said the bina is what bina? It comes from the side of Gvura, Right? The bean is from the side of the gvura, right? but we can always take the gvura and we can sweeten. We can sweeten the judgment whenever we 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 recognize that the gvura is coming meis Hashem, right? And then we can know between bein yoyim uvein laila. What we say yoyim is yoyim is, is mitzvahs. Yoyim is connecting to Hashem. That's the light of Hashem. Laila is the fire of Hashem, is the fire of the world. That's when Hashem is hidden. That's the first section in the night. When the when the when the when the uh, when the control of the world is given over to the matronusa, that's Lila, right? That's when you don't find Hashem. You have Hashem hidden, right? That's when Amalek is in control. So that's why we're supposed to go to sleep in the first part of the night, right? And we get up early, right? Mordechai, yes, right. We get up early in the morning because when we get up, 
when we get up early, then we can we can connect to Hakadosh Baruch Hu in the time of Chesed. Binyan Birchus Shaloya Sani Goy Ve'Eved Ve'Isha. Right, we we spoke about that yesterday a little bit. Right, that we make the bracha Shaloya Sani Goy. Right, every day we make that blessing. Right, Baruch, do you know why we make that blessing every day? Because we're happy, I guess. Because every day you're a new guy. Every day you're a new person. So you have to make that blessing again. Well, today, Hashem, you didn't make me a guy. Today, you didn't make me an Evan. Today, you didn't make me an Isha. Today, today, today. Uh, okay, I understand that it wasn't yesterday. But again, we learned the concept that every day, Hashem makes everything brand new. So every single day, we have to make those blessings again. And that's what we're learning about. Hilchas Birchas Ashacha, right? In other words, it makes no sense otherwise if you don't understand this concept, right? If you ask people, why are you making this blessing every day? They won't say, I don't know, the rabbis told me to say the blessing, I say the blessing. But no one really understands, why am I making the same blessing every day? Why am I saying, Shaloya Sani Goy? In other words, if I established that once, right? If I established it, right? And if I wasn't new today, let's get this point understood, right? And if I wasn't a new person today, why would I have to not say that blessing? Why should I say it again? We know the rabbis tell us that Suffolk broke is lahokil, right? If you're not sure if you made a blessing, right? Let's say you had a, a, a drink or you had a thing, you're not sure that I made the blessing or not, right? So you, you, you have to be careful not to just say another blessing. Blessings you have to be careful about. Right? The only blessing that, you, that you're not, if you're not sure if you did or not, is when you, if you didn't bench, right? Let's say you didn't make the birchat amazon, right? Why? Because that's a daraisa. You know that, right? That's a Torah, that's a Torah edict. That's not a, a, the, of the rabbis, right? Benching is from the Torah. So anytime it's something, a suffix daraisa is l'chumra, right? A suffix, when you have a suffix of to, something from the Torah, you have to be more stringent, right? But if you have something from the rabbis, so then you could be, you have to be more strict. So now, again, all these brachas that we make every morning are, are instituted by the rabbis, right? It's not from the Torah. The Torah doesn't tell us any way to make a blessing. Shalayasani goy, shalayasani avet, shalayasani isha, right? So now the question is, so why did the rabbis institute this? Every day. We just said, if, you make, if you're not sure if you made a blessing, if you're not sure you made a blessing, you shouldn't make it again, right? So So if you, I made these blessings and I wasn't an isha, Yesterday, so why would I be a lady today? We're not talking about the, you know, the craziness in the world today, right? <laughs> maybe we are. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe you are. Then. Okay, then today, Hashem, you didn't make me think that I'm a lady. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, no one have ever thought of these things, you know, back, back then, right? There's such crazy things in the world. We're laughing about it, but, but, but it's such a... Listen, so every day when we wake up, yeah. we're renewed, okay? We say yeah. all this, yes. we learn yes. this. So, we're new, that, not renewed, yes? No, renewed is the same thing I'm talking about. Meaning we emerge from our slumber a new person. Yes, so I mean, we sleep, have to, yeah, sleep, not slumber, sleep. Sleep, yeah, okay. you know, a new person. Okay. So... Does that mean we're cleansed? We're this is Yom Kippur. Every we're holy. Day? Every day we're you start. Holy? Every day we start new. Of course, because you because you because you the night before you you said you said Kriya Shema Right. But then you confess for everything that you did wrong, mm-hmm. and then you're able to go to sleep. Right? Why do people not sleep well at night? Because they're worried about all different kind of things. Right, but if you settle, if you settle everything, you say the Kriya Shema Lamita, you, 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 you speak it out with HaKadosh Baruch, you work everything out, so then you can go to sleep because everything is settled your account. Right? Yeah, if you don't... That's not what I was more or less yeah, but then we, fine. Yeah. I, no, I appreciate it. I'm not yeah. trying to ask you to stop. But does that mean that our neshamas and our physical and our spiritual self are new or renewed, however you want to call it. Okay, so 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 really you can understand it like this. And I, I gave you this example before we'll say it again. Picture, you know those uh, those notepads that come in a stack, you know the tall one you right. pull it off the right. stick. Right? You have those pages, Sticky right? Pads. Sticky pads, right? Right. So some of them are taller, some of them are shorter, right? 
right? And then you can take one page off. Once you take it off, does that have anything to do with the other page? No. Not really, right? It's but, right, but 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 if you every day if you would put that page back, you take the next one. You right, you just right. So that's really our neshama, right? Every day you get a brand new, you get a brand new daf, a brand new page of your neshama, a chilek of neshama that comes to the world one time. That's a part of the neshama that comes to the world one time. So now the question is, what do you do with that chilek of neshama? Do you spend your day the right way, like we said, with marich the yain? Right, that we lengthen the day, that we can, that we, that we include a lot of avodas Hashem in my day to make it e- eternal, right? Or do I, or do I squander it? The same thing you can do with a piece of, I like that idea with the paper, because you know, you can take that piece of paper, you can write something very important on it, right? You can write a, a nice note, a, a nice letter on it, you can make a nice picture on there, right? For somebody, make somebody smile, right? Or you can take that piece of paper, you scribble on it, right? You can crumple it up, Right? <laughs> it's a piece of paper. You can do anything you want with it, right? Right? You can, you can, you can, you can loan someone money. You can write a star. Right? You can pay back money. Right? You can write, write, do anything you want. Right? You can do things on a piece of paper. So that's the neshama. Every day you have a new piece. So yes, every single day you get a new chelik, a new beginning. And that's why, like we keep saying, it's a new beginning. It's a mechadish b'tuvah because this chelik neshama is only going to be here one time. So that's why you have to say the Kriya Shema Lamita, because you want to send off that Chilek HaNeshama, you have to straighten it out. Right? Like before you, before you send in a paper, right? If you're, uh, if you're, if you're, uh, Mordechai, you're an accountant, right? And we have some attorneys, right? So before they do it, they send in their paperwork, they have to do, they have to correct it out, right? And make sure everything's right. And before you send it off, right? You don't just uh, write the paper up and then just send it right out, right? You always have to proofread it, right? Like the project we're going to do with PRI, right? Oh. <laughs> you want to say something, Shalom? Yes, we both understand the reality. There's no reality where somebody wakes up in the morning and says, Oh, look at that. I'm a woman today. You know, or I'm a, I'm a guy today. It doesn't happen. Right. right. How do you know? There's <laughs> one Hollywood film like that. You what? There's one Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood film like that. This is more, I think this is more thanking the Kaddish Baruch Hu because you could die in your sleep. Of course. And then, and then your Neshama can come back as a woman, as an Ebed, as a Roy. So you thank Hashem that, for, I think mostly that you woke up in the morning, you thank Him that you woke up. You're thanking Him that, you know, because you could have died and you could have come back as one of these things. But but Chazal said every time we go to sleep, it's a Shisha Mamisa. So there's some, there's some sense of death. There is some sense of death each time we go to sleep, right? It's a it's a sixtieth of death, whatever that means. And as I don't know, I don't I don't understand the mathematics. What does it mean a sixtieth of death? Could you explain that, Mordechai? One sixtieth. Yeah. Well, okay. What does that mean? It means just one sixtieth. Okay. So that means there's 60, 60 parts of it, and it's one sixtieth. Does that mean it's dangerous to go to sleep? Uh, one sixtieth. You wouldn't want one in sixty chance. That that's not what yeah. I believe it means. That you might not wake up. That's not a good that's eye. Not a good that's eye. okay. That's fine. It's a good thing for you're reborn in the morning. That's yeah, we we learned that the, we learned that concept of being reborn in the morning. Remember, we learned that the sixtieth is already back. You already have that sixtieth back. You got it back. Yeah, yeah. Not like after sixty days. Because you start new again in the morning. You started new. Right, that's what we learned about the the blind beggar, right? The blind beggar was he he said, "I'm old, but I'm new, right? I'm young, I'm old, but I'm young." Remember that? Remember that concept? Remember, I'm old. He was old in years, but his his perspective every day was new. Every day he started anew. He was fresh. He was he was he was he was he was there was an excitement. Right, the way you see, like a little kid, right? The little kids, they jump around. They want to see things. They're very curious, right? So that we wake up in the morning with that same curiosity. That we wake up with that same vigor in the morning to experience new things today, right? And if we do, that's amazing, right? So anyway, so that's the reason why we keep establishing. Why am I making this bracha, right? In other words, again, if I'm the same person, right? If I'm the same person, I establish the thing. So then how am I allowed to make that bracha? And I've had this conversation with Rosh Yeshiva, and I challenged them, and they said, I don't know. (laughs) 
They don't know. They don't understand the concept. They I, don't understand the concept. I think on what partly on what you're saying, yeah. I think we're thanking no matter what everything. Of course, else you're is. thanking Hashem. Hashem that He's made us who we are, and He's made us a Jew. No, of course. And you haven't made us a woman. You haven't made us this. Be why? Because we're thankful. So we, say thank you. But why are you saying I'm not a? We do. We go. Of course, so good, so stop there. Time. So stop there. Why do you have to keep talking about all these things? That's what we're trying to establish here. Because I'm a new person today. I know it's, it's hard no, no, to no, I, it's I, hard to understand that I concept. I believe that, and I get it. I really under, can get you, that. Your, your, your life from yesterday has nothing to do with your life from today. There are a lot of people that don't get up today, right? Then why... When we were talking about when somebody's going to marry somebody who's a Russia, he woke up in the morning and he's new. He's a new person. Right. Why would he have to declare even to himself for that minute that I do I'll to explain Teshuva? Yeah. Yeah. And now he has the ability, according to the Gemara, to he's cleansed at he that could second. He could, he could at that be. second. Yep, yep, yep. And when the minute he says it, he means it, let's yes. say. And then an hour later he goes back and you know, to his old ways and it's okay. He has But a, that's not that's later. No, I real, different... I get it, but you understand, but when he woke so up So can I explain it to you? Sure, please. Okay. So the fact that he was a he was the Russia doing the things the wicked things right so what does it mean he's attached to what he's attached to a Amalek he's attached to the fire of the world he's attached to all that stuff right so long as, at that moment where he has a hero of truva a thought of truva he's connecting back to what Tashem okay. he connects back to Hashem that's his that's that's the point I get that but my point is when he woke up. He was totally a new. Yes, they, everyone on is a new day. Uh, he's, he's, he's yes, pure yes, in the sense of, yes. Okay, he's not a Russia at the time he opens. His yes, eyes. and and the Rav Nassim taught us that every single person is new every day, so they can change their ways. Nobody has to say that I'm a wicked person and I can never change my way. Because every single day, yes, the Russia is a new person too, and today he can choose to do the right thing. Not only today can he choose to do the right thing, but every moment he's new. Every moment he's new and every moment he can change. At any given moment, the person can change. Now again, that doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that once he decides he wants to change, the other side's not going to come back and attack him. Hey, hey, you know, you were part of this camp for all these years, you know. Who do you think you are? You're escaping, right? Could you imagine, right? Right, like a guy was in, it was was stuck in in the Iron Curtain, right? But it was closed. He tried to get out. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You're part of our camp, right? You're not going anywhere, right? right yeah. So then he has to start again. He has to keep, and he's gonna have to work on it. This is an uphill battle. This is gonna be an uphill battle. But if he knows the concept that I can only have one thought in my mind at a time, right? So if I can only think of the future, if I can only think of this moment now. The present moment, right? If I can only think of this present moment now, so then I'm not, I, I, I can change now. That has nothing to do with that. Even though the other thoughts going to keep coming into my, change it. Keep changing. Right? You can't have two thoughts at one time. Right? Yeah. We're just reviewing all the lessons, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I'm just... We have to work it out. You have to, you have to think. It's a lot of information. I'm trying to a, like, get it yeah. settled Somewhat. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then he says, and he goes on to say, Vinyan Birchas Hatoira, Vinyan Parshas Hatomid, right? The beautiful Parsha Hatomid, right? When you say the Parsha Hatomid, the, the Parsha Hatomid was very, very important, right? We had the, 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 the Tomid Shel Shacha, we had the Tomid Shel Bain Abayi, right? Every morning in the base of Migdash, we had the Tomid Shel Shacha. And what did that happen in the morning? What was that one, the carbon Tomid? It forgave us for all the sins. Of the last of last night, right? And then the Tamid Shalbena Abayim, the one that we gave in the afternoon, when did that do? 
That forgave us for the things that we did during the day. The carbon tum was so important for us, right? And then that's why we say the carbon atom today, right? We say the carbonus. We're supposed to at least, right? It's a very good thing. That's another one of those some say, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Vishar Kabbanis, for Indian Psuke de Zimra, and the whole thing of, of the Psuke de Zimra, the beautiful words of Psuke de Zimra, we say them every single day. We say the same words, right? Every day. You would think that every day you should change it, right? You should change the words every day. Why we read the same, the same text every day? Because we're different. Every day. We're different, exactly. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. And again, before... And there was the Anshe Knesset, the Gedola instituted our Tvila, right? Because we lost that, we lost that, that, that uh, ability to articulate our own words and our feelings of each day. We lost that ability. We, they saw we were losing it, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't know how. And there was, if, if you didn't have a sitter today, and you came to shul in the morning, and you had to dive, right? You had to still, you would, excuse me, you'd still want a minion, right? Because you want the Shekhinah present, right? But if you didn't have a text, what would you say? Would you know what to say? No. <laughs> it would be hard, right? Be hard, it would be hard to every day to figure out what you're going to want to say. Right? But, the, but, but it, 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 there was a time that the people were so in touch with their neshama, they were so in touch with what was going on in the world, they were able to articulate based on what was going on. Based on what was going on in their life, what was going on in the world, they would make a tefillah based on that. But we lost that. So the Chazal said, no, we're going to institute a, 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 a text, then you're going to follow this, and then you'll accomplish what you need to accomplish. Right? It's amazing, right? If you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. But we learned, we learned about the tefillah that each time when you go to the tefillah, you're going, in different, you're going to up in different worlds. Remember we learned that concept, right? We start out in the world of Asiya, Right, in the world, this world here, right, the carbonot, right down here, physical world, right? And then we go up, then we go up to the world of Yetzira, right? That's the next world. And then we go into the world of Yetzira when we say, when we say Psuke de Zimra, right? Psuke de Zimra, right? And, and, the, and, well, the Arizal writes that really you have to say a Kaddish, you have to say the Kaddish and say the Amen Yehesh Me Rabba, from the, from the, from the, uh, from Amr Rabbi Yishmo, when you finish Amr Rabbi Yishmo, right? You're supposed to say a Kaddish there. Yeah. Right? Because then the, the, the whole Tziba answers Amen Yesh brother. It gives us the boost to go to the Eilam Ayat So what happens with the day like today? Nobody says <laughs> No, and listen, in, 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 a, in a lot of Batei Midrashim, that they, 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 somebody will always say somebody a Kaddish. Say Someone will say a Kaddish. Always say a Kaddish. Yeah, we, and there's a, there's, a, there's a policy that someone has to say a Kaddish. Ad Kidei that even if there's somebody not, even, let's say there's a, it's a younger crowd, let's say, and there's no one that's able to really say Kaddish because they have their parents, yeah. right? Ad Kidei that you can still, say, someone can still say, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand, but but you, I, I understand. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But most of the time, people it, it, that's usually said by the yosem. Right? It's not usually said by a regular, but it certainly is, it, that's the reason why they can do it. That's right. This kaddish, he's right. Absolutely right. Right. But anyway, so that's the point. So the kaddish is said, and then there's another kaddish said. When you finish Psuke de Zimra, Yishtabach, there's another Kaddish, and that puts you up to the Olam Habriya. Next world. There's four worlds, right? You go up to the next spiritual world, right? The Kaddish is that move you up to your next one? Is that next you to the next world, yeah, yeah, the Kaddish. Amen, Yehish, Meh, And then you go into Shmon Esrei, it puts you into the world of Olam Asiya. That's the highest world. That's after you makabal all Malchus Shemayim in Kriyashma, and you start and you say, Go al Yisrael, that, that go al Yisrael, that brach is somebody, you have to be saimach tefillah, gula latvila, right? You have to be saimach gula tefillah. You can't stop in between, right? As soon as you say, as soon as you say, go al Yisrael, Hashem subsai tiftach, ufi agit tilasak, and it's baruch ato Hashem, right? You have to say that right away. And that's how you get up to the world of Atzilas. It's amazing. I mean, you understand what's going on in the davening, right? Yeah, come exactly. Yeah, that's the Arida Sashefa. In other words, before you're going up, you're going up to Hashem and you're asking Hashem for all those things in the Shmon Esrei. Right? Hashem, we need Geula. Hashem, we need Refua. We need Parnosa. Hashem, we need the Tikabashoy for Godel. Hey, send us Mashiach, Hashem. 
Right? We're saying all these things. We're asking Hashem, hear our tefila, shema kileinu, hear our tefila, hear our tefila, right? And then when we finish the avening, we go back and we have the Kaddish again to bring us down to the next world to safely, right? You're coming down, you want to come down now with all your packages, right? You got all this blessing, right? Hashem grants you all the blessing in the next, in, in the upper world, right? In the world of Atzilas. Chazal tell us that really in the world of Atzilas, really the Malachim aren't even allowed to go there. There are no angels present. So we daven Shmon Esrei, it's only us, Nishma Sishol and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Why? Because we are one with Hashem. Right? We said that yesterday, right? Kut Shebricho, I rise of Yisrael Kul Eichot. When you do the Kedusha, that, that's from the angels, the Kedusha. That's the, no, no, but, that, but then you finish Shmon Esrei. That's after the Shmon Esrei. Right, right. Right, that's, the, that's after the Shmon Esrei, right? right? So you come back down and join the angels. You can join the, exactly. There you come back down to the world of Yetzirah, right? And no, the world of Bria. And in the world of Bria, there are angels. The the Srofim, the, the Ifanim, the Srofim, all of those guys, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay? All right, okay. Let's, let's go on now in, in our lesson. Alpia Maisa Shalaben Melech Shenechlaf Beben Ashivcha. Right, so we're talking about, that's the uh, the 11th story in Tzipurim Maisius, right? The story of the... Okay, okay, be, be successful. Have a safe, good day. Yeah, the the story the 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 story of the of the of the uh, it's called the, in, in English it's called the exchange children, right? The exchange the story is eleven. It's story eleven. Does anyone have Sipuri Maisius at home? A book? Yes. You do. You do. Right. So so you, you you'll read that if you can. If you can study that story, it'll be it'll be very good. Uh, if you want, we can study the story in class. If we want, we could do that, maybe. Uh, it's a very beautiful story. And really, uh, really, Rav Nassim explains to us that it's really the story of our Neshamas now. You like that? Yeah. You, do you have the book? Do you have the, do you have the? No, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it. Okay. All right. Well, I can get, we can get you one. We can set you up with it so you can have some books. Yeah. It's an amazing, amazing story of really of ours, our, of, of the neshama, how the neshama gets exchanged, right? You have the Sahara and you have the neshama, right? So there's sometimes the problem is that we exchange the neshama for the Sahara, And the Sahara thinks he's ruling and he's very cruel to the neshama, right? But really the neshama is supposed to be the one that's ruling, and he's supposed to get the eight Sahara to work together with him. Right? Like we learned in the last lesson, right? We have the Ma'ire R and the Ma'ire H, right? So really, if you shine the light of Hashem is strong, the, the fire of the world, which is the eight Sahara, right? He, he's, he, he gives in to the light and he becomes part of the Hashem's light. Because ultimately, that's what it's supposed to be. <coughs> Okay, I and Shem Kolamai Sekulim and Roshel Lesaifa read this whole story from the beginning to the end. Who Pella? That's a wonder. It's a wondrous story. It is. All of Rabbi Nachman's stories are wondrous. Kamei Shem Rabbeinu Zal. Acha Shesipa Maisa Zois Bezel Loshet Hamaisa Zois Hu Kulei Hafle. This whole story is an, a wondrous story. You have the te- you have the place. You see it, mm-hmm. right? This whole story is a wondrous story. Ine ain laarich kan b'sheva kedulas amaisias ki gavoyu midateno. It's not the place here to talk about Rabbi Nachman's stories because his stories are all Kabbalah. He told it to us in a story form, but he's telling us the deepest secrets are found in the stories. He didn't just tell a story to tell a story. Rabbi Nachman said that he told, the world tells stories to put people to sleep, right? Rabbi Nachman said, I tell stories to, to wake people up. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, right? Bedtime stories, right? Right, people tell bedtime stories to put them to sleep. Rabbi Nachman said, no, my stories are to wake people up, to wake them up from this spiritual slumber. Rak, ma she'efsha limsoya behem eze remez ba'alma but whatever I can dig out, whatever I can come and expose, whatever I can find in the story for myself that could benefit me, I have to do that. Right? In other words, it's very, very, very deep. This, the concepts are very, very deep concepts. And the reason why the Rebbe, the Rebbe told him over in a story 
is so that way you can read it and you can read it again and again and then you'll start to say, hmm, maybe this means that and maybe that means this. You understand? But it's a story, so it's interesting. If he just gives you the, the if he gives you the Kabbalah behind it, it's, uh, no one understands it. Right? He gives you all the calculations and everything, how it works with the Sefirot and everything. That's very hard. But he told it to in a story. But when you read the story, know that you're looking for treasures in the story. There are treasures hidden in those words of the story. Is there, is there a good book that explains the story? Yes, yes, yes. So, so Rabbi, Rabbi Arya Kaplan, that's how. Right, his, his. He, he, so he, he worked with, with Rabbi Kramer about 40 years ago. Mm. And he, made the tra- he did the translation of the stories and he wrote a commentary on it. Oh, okay. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful commentary. What's that first thing? That Sipuri 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 Maisi. Maisi. the story, yeah, Rabbi Nachman's story. Okay. Yeah, 13 stories. Okay? All right, anyway. Ki shamati giloi datoi hakidoisha mi piva kodesh eretzoinoi she nachtar levake shulachapes bohem masha efshalim soya. Because the Rebbe said to Rabbi Nassim, he says, listen, I, this is very deep. I'm telling you the deepest secrets of, of the world in here. You have the deepest secrets of creation in these stories. Whatever you can take out of them from the story, whatever you, where you can benefit by, take from it. Grab it. It's all in there. The treasures are all there. It's all treasures. Whatever treasure you can attach yourself to, take it. Whoever's a bucky, if, if anyone ever studied the Zaya, right? So you take any mukubalim, right? You study the guys that know the, 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 that study, then they understand the concepts of the Zohar. When they read the story of Rabbi Nachman, they're amazed how he was able to weave into the story the deepest secrets, the deepest concepts in those words of the stories. It's fascinating. Rak guf hamase beetzem mi oma. The Amos Zef Shalohavan. For you to really understand the, the real the depths and the depths and the depths of it, impossible. And I can't, this is not the place where Nelson says, this is not the forum over here to discuss that, because he's doing Lakut Allah is here, right? But he's taking a concept from that story, right? He's gonna take the concept from that story. So base, okay. Anyone ever so far we're okay, guys? We're all right? Yeah? Any questions about the stories or anything? Okay. Okay. Base. The Hine. In Yana Maisa Nairo, Shala Ben Melach Shanechlav, Shayadeze Nidmel Oilam, Shu Ben Hashifra. Okay, so here's the story. Rab Nassan is going to explain the story. I'm just going to give you the basic story. We said it yesterday. The basic story was there was a king and a queen. Okay, the king and the queen is really Hakadosh Baruch Hu and 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 Nefesh Klali Yisrael, the Shechina Kedusha. Okay, that's Hakadosh Baruch Hu and the Shechina. So the king and the queen were were they, they were they, they, the the queen was pregnant. Okay, and she was going to have a baby. There was also a Shifcha maid servant in the king's palace at the same time that she was also pregnant. And the and the uh, and the uh, uh, concubine, I guess you call her, right? The one that was the one that that, that, that assists in the that assists in the it's, no, no, no 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 no. Now what do you call the one that assists? Midwife. midwife. The midwife. Excuse me. The midwife. Excuse me. Excuse me. The midwife. The midwife thought it would be interesting to see what would happen when these two babies were born at the same exact time to take the baby from the queen. And put it in the bassinet of the shifcha, and take the baby from the shifcha and put it in the bassinet of the queen. Interesting, right? Yeah. Very, very creative. Yes. Very creative, right? It's always a fear in a hospital of people. Well, that's why they put the, the bandage, the band right, right on, right. right? They put those bands on right away, right? They knew about the story, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. No, so so, so look what he says here. Ah, so to the world, to the world, they look at the, the son. They look at the son of the, of the, of the maidservant, and they think 
that this is a slave child, right? If the lady, if the lady was a maid servant to the king, so what does it make her son? He's also a servant. He's a servant to the king. By a day, so the world, everyone saw the world, looked at it. The, the whole kingdom looked at it, right? The people in the kingdom saw, and they thought that the prince, that the prince that was supposed to be the heir to the throne, right? They thought that he was what? The servant. By a day, they discovered all of Achzar, Haben Hashivcha, Be'emes. And then, not only, not only was the, was the, was the, uh, ser- the real servant, right? The real servant that was now in the bassinet of the queen, right? Right? So now that child, as it was growing up, was very, very cruel to the real prince. You see the difference? He was very cruel to the real prince, wasn't kind to the real prince. Vigershom in Mekoymen, he expelled him from this place. He threw him out of the palace. He threw him out of the palace. By days in Nafal ben Amelech ha'emes bedatay ad shabo lidei roos until he came to do bad things. He he met he met the wrong crowd, right? He came in, he came in contact with the wrong crowd, and then he started to do bad things, was not befitting for for the for the prince to do. Right, a prince shouldn't do bad things. Right, a prince is supposed to go to a, a, a royal school, right? And the prince is supposed to te- is supposed to learn the proper etiquette, correct? Mm-hmm. But this, but this prince was was expelled was expelled by the by the imposter by the imposter of the prince. You understand? You understand? He was the imposter. He wasn't the real prince, yeah. but he expelled him. And all this is understood to understand this a little bit. They really, that's the story of Knesset Yisrael. That's the story of us. That we have now, that we have now in the world. The world is running. They think that they're running things. They think they're in charge. And they're very cruel to the Jewish people. Because we are the real prince. Right, HaKadosh Baruch says, B'ni B'chayri Yisrael. We are the true prince of Hashem. Right, but the world, the world takes control and they're very cruel to us. Can we agree on that? Mm-hmm. Yep. The world's very cruel to us. This is the story of what's going on today. Amazing, right? He says, Umuvan hetev lemeven mad. If you understand a little bit about What's going on? And you read the line, read through the lines of the story. You'll see really what's going on, like we're explaining right now. That we were expelled, we were thrown out. When it says that the king, that the that the uh, uh, imposter, that the the the, uh, the um, we'll call him the imposter, the imposter expelled expelled the prince, right? That's us being expelled from Eretz Yisrael. That's us from being kicked out from our place. From our place. Vehem kitzipor naidedes min kinah. It's like a bird that was thrown away from its nest. Right? The bird that, that, that got that thrown away. Kain ish naided min mekayme. So too is a person that gets that gets pushed away, he gets sent away from his place where he's supposed to be. Right? You said you used to live in Gush Katif, right? Mara? You yeah. lived in Gush Katif, right? I did. Do you feel what we just said now? It reminds me of a story. Do you feel do you feel what he just said? You had a yeah, place? I, I, I and see. they threw you out of your place, right? That's our whole story. You know, uh, that we have a certain place to be. Yeah. That's uh, the right place for us to grow spiritually, physically. The Nesiva Shalom yeah, yeah, yeah. has a whole story yeah. of growing grapes yeah, yeah, yeah. on the right, proper hillside. Uh, mm-hmm. It gets the right rain, sun. If it's on the right hillside, right? Because the rain runs down on it and it gets the right sun. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, continue. Now, uh, it's a, I forget if it's all for bed. It's in one of the 
is firing. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's okay. A whole story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you understand what we're saying here, right? Yeah, you you had a place, and they threw you. They, you got they got expelled from there, right? Umufaraz and Beinah Goyim, and we get sent out amongst the Goyim. We're scattered amongst the Goyim, right? Then we feel that where we live over here, right? Are we scattered amongst <coughs> the Goyim? Yeah, we are. We're a little a little yeshuv here, right? Amongst how many Goyim around us? Do we feel it? We're still in Golas. In Israel? Yeah, in Israel, we're still in Golas, right? Okay. So long as those, those guys are in Bethlehem, right? In Beis Lechem, right? And they're all around us, right? Are we surrounded by them? Yeah. Right? We're scattered, right? right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And they're creeping closer all the time, right? They keep building. Oh, yeah. they're they keep building creeping. Yeah. 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 Where's our stupid government? They throw key people out of Gush Katif. Why are they knocking down all of these buildings that they keep building yeah. that they have no per permit to build? Do they have any permit to build them? No. If God forbid a Jew would want to build another house, God forbid, they'll come knock it down. Yeah. But these guys, they can build what they want. Is that not Golas? Is that not Golas, guys? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> And the Malchus and the Memshala, the control, the king, the kingdom, and the Memshala is by them. They'll tell us, you know, you have to give the guys they need, they need, they need the aid. Aid? <laughs> give them aid? <laughs> right? They're telling us what to do. Right? We had that buffoon coming today to tell us what to do. He's going to give us instruction. Yeah. The guy won't even know what day it is, but he's going to give us instruction. You'll ask the guy, if the, the reporter will ask him, what day is it today? Oh, 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 I, oh, I don't know. Oh, but you have to give aid to those guys over there. Yeah. Right? And if we don't, they have aircraft carriers with planes right yeah. here. We could be here. Oh, one stop. Minute. I'm not wrong on this. I'm I'm stop. You. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. Studio. No, that's that's to you. Listen, listen. Okay, 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 okay. And we are the real princes, right? We're the Bini Bechayri Yisrael. We are like the maidservant. And we are like the Shifcha. We are like the servants to the world. We are like the servants to the world. She calls the Nimcha Bechina Sachalifin. That's from the, the Chalifin where, this, where the exchange took place. Because, because it's like uh, uh, Biden's coming here now. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I was trying to say. He's telling us what we're supposed that, to do. That's what I just said. I didn't want to mention yes, his name. Yes, I yes, didn't yes. want to mention his name. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. No, we're not right? going to go yes. He's going to... The, yeah. the reason I'm not in alignment with what you're saying, what you think is what creates the result. So if you think that that's why they're here, you're empowering that result. And I don't want to empower that result. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Look at that. We, we have to have peace here. Come I'm on. Not here. Okay. I'm not arguing. I'm using no, my I'm arrogance here. to make a point. That okay, I think that's very good. important. That's true. Okay, you're right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Think good. The Lubavitch Rebbe said that. Okay? If you think it'll be good, it will be good. If you think okay. it'll be bad, it will be bad. It's what you think. Okay. Think it'll be good. It'll be good. Think it'll be good. It'll be good. That's what we have to do. That's our job now. That's how we pray. That's how we have to do now. Okay. Says Okay. Here's a beautiful. Well, this is a scary concept. There's a concept of the heicholay atemuros. There's a there's a chain. There's a there's a chamber up on high of the exchange. A heichal atemuros. There's Ex a chamber of, of exchange. That Temuras, yeah. Heichal Temuras, right? In the Shemek exchange. In the Shemek, exactly, 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 exactly. In other words, so the Neshama has passed through this Heichal Temura, and it was, the, the person was supposed to get certain Neshama, and he gets another Neshama. And because every single day, our Neshamas go through this every day when it comes back. Do you know that? Every day we get the Neshama back, right? And every day we have to pray and hope that we get the right in the shovel back. You know, like when you go to the cleaners, right, and you give in your shirts, right, and you give in your, your pants or whatever it is, right, right? 
Right? You ever wonder how they give you back the right things? Well, they put a ticket on it. Oh, whatever. Okay, okay. Sometimes they lose it. I'm looking. See, do you have a ticket on your ear or something? No, 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 no. But you're right, right? No, okay, you're right. I appreciate no, I'm just giving, I'm just giving an example. I appreciate the humor. No, it's not. No, but I'm just giving you an example. Like, really, every day... Every day, you know, you, you give your stuff in and they have to give you the right stuff back. Then there was, we're thanking Hashem every morning. Why? You gave me back my neshama. <laughs> it didn't get exchanged with somebody else's. Ay, ay, ay. Shehem nechalofim lepamim haneshama is kashe shamanu ipiva kodesh befeirish koidem. It's shesipra amaisa. Rabbi Nachman explained this concept and then he told over this story. Right? He told over this concept of the Heichel HaTemurah, this, this, the, the, the chamber of exchange of the Neshamas, and then he told over this story, because this is really what's going on. That in, the, in the story, right? In the story, what happened, the, 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 uh, the, the, the true prince got exchanged with the servant. And the servant says, I'm in charge. <laughs> but really, the servant is just a servant. It's just an image. It's just an image. And really, all of these guys in the world... It's just an image. They're not really in charge. They're not. If we believe, the day we believe that we are the true princes, that we are truly connected to Hashem, and we raise the light of Hashem in the world, they will all fold to us. They will all fold to us. That's the truth. That's the real truth. That's the real truth. That the neshamas get exchanged. He's talking about down here that, in the, that we can understand the story, right? He's giving you a story that you can understand, right? See this, Rav Simcha? He's giving you the story that you can understand. There's a child and a child, and he got exchanged. But really, what's he talking? About? He's really talking about the neshamas that up on high they got exchanged. The neshama of the of the of the Jew got exchanged with something else. Chas v'sholem. You understand? That's what is really what's going on. And then he told the story based on that. There was once a story like this. And he told over the whole story. And it was the story, he's telling over the story to Jewish people. He's telling us the story of, 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 of Amcha Beis Yisroh. Ad shegorma until it happened. She nimsa shamaisa shel aben melech nechla she nechla ze nimshach mivichina seicholet tmuros. And where does it come from? It comes from the heichal at tmuros. It comes from that place. Yep. Okay. Shalom. Have a very good day. Sorrow tov. Bye. Shalom. Vezeh said kol golus v'tzaris yisrael. And this is the soul. Listen to this, guys. You see this? Vezeh so. This is the secret. What soul? Secret. He's telling you the secret. Of Golas, of our exile, the secret of our exile, and any tsar that we have, any trouble that we have, any pain that we have, it comes from this very idea. Because we were exchanged. We're not supposed to, we're not supposed to have problems. We're not supposed to be in exile. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to have redemption. We were supposed to have redemption. Hashem redeemed us. And it's only because we came to Har Sinai and then we had the Egel Azov that everything went back again and we had to start all over again. Right? Let's remember now. When we came to Har Sinai, right? Let's take a moment to explain this, okay? When we came to Har Sinai, we went up to the 49th level. Har Sinai was the 50th gate. Rabbi Nussan's Tfilis of the 49th is the 50th gate. Makute Tfilis is called the 50th gate, is it not? David, do you agree it's called the 50th gate? Rav Nassim's Tefillah is a 50th gate. Right? 50th gate. Why? Why? Because again, it gets us to that place of perfection. It can get you to that place of clarity to know that the din is really Hashem. So we came to, we came to Har Sinai. We accepted the Torah from Hashem. Right? We accepted the Torah. Moshe went up to Shemayim for 40 days. Right? Let's think about this. He went up to Shemai for 40 days to get further instruction from Hashem directly. Correct? 40 days he went up. What happened down in the ground? What happened down in the world? What happened? Oh, they made a mistake. They made a mistake. The calculation wasn't exactly the right calculation, right? And they thought it was 40 days. They didn't count it right. They didn't know how to calculate. They thought it was 40 days. 
and they come to Aaron. They come to Aaron a Kayin. The guy, the, the, Aaron loved all Jews. He loved everybody, right? And he wanted to help every single Jew. He was Ayiv Shalom, the Roydev Shalom, right? He loved peace and he ran after peace, right? So they come to Aaron. They say to him, hey, listen, make for us a golden calf. Make for us a God. He was beside himself. Could you imagine? Aaron? We learned all about Aaron, right? He saw, he saw emotion. He was so happy in his heart, right? He saw, right? He was happy. He was really happy for him. And this, and he, now he knows his brother's up on high with Hashem. And they're telling him here that the, 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 the worst thing, they're saying the worst thing possible. Go make a foreign God. Hashem said the first of the commandments was what? Don't make a foreign God. That was the first one. I'm your God. Right? And don't make a foreign God. Wait, but don't make a foreign God. Right? right, right, right yeah. So what happened was, but when we came to Harsinai, we had reached, everyone was, was healed. Everybody, everybody was reset. Everybody was brand new mamish, really. They said that anyone had any ailment at all. Mm. If you had any kind of ailment, it was repaired. It was hell, it was fixed. It was totally fixed. Amazing, right? Misa was le left the world. Death left the world. We were perfected. But we brought it all back. Again, because of the Heichal Tamur, That a chamber of exchange. It's a very dangerous place because you never know what you're going to get. Right? You go through that system, you never know what you're going to get. No, but it's, 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 it's real. Right? So again, this is the story of Gull. That's where Gullahs came from again, because we were, we were redeemed. We were supposed to go right away into Israel. Right? We were supposed to enter and all that we were supposed to conquer all of the lands. All of the lands, not just the seven, all of them. Right? All of the lands. Every land. But we, 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 we didn't, we didn't make the right, we didn't do the right thing. So you're saying, because we think we are, we don't, we don't know, we don't know that we are the true, true prince of we the don't world. Know that. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. We don't believe it. Nassim keeps trying to teach us that. B'ni b'chayri Yisrael. You are my, you are my child. What does it mean when Hashem says b'ni b'chayri Yisrael? You're my firstborn child. What does that mean? If we're the firstborn child and Hashem is the melech malchei amlochim, if he's the king of all kings, and we are his child, so that means we are the prince. You see the story? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. We are the real prince. And the rest of the world is the servant to serve us. Because we're the prince. But what happens? They changed it. We got thrown out and they took over. Does it make sense? And we let them because we're, no, we're the slave. We're no, we, don't, we have that slave mentality. No, we don't no. believe it. We don't believe it. We believe they want to be like everybody else. Our government here wants to be like everybody else in the world. So we have to pray for... They have to we'll be like everybody else. We're not like everybody else. We're above everybody else. When an idiot Netanyahu would say to Biden today, get the hell out of here. We don't need you. You are the me. You are a servant. Get out of here. So He's walking down the fly. He'll probably fall down the steps anyway. When he falls down the steps, step on him. Step on him. So how did You're the imposter. He really is an imposter. So in the story, how did the yeah, prince, how did the real prince discover and get back to his father? And that we're going to discuss later in the lesson. Okay. <laughs> so, read the story. <laughs> no, now we're going to get to that. That's when Mashiach yeah, comes. So Mashiach is going to come. Mashiach is going to come. Every single one of us, whatever troubles we have in our lives, you hear this? Whatever troubles we have, whatever they are, come from this very reason. This very reason of the exchange, the Heichel HaTemura. That we were sent out amongst all the nations of the world. Hashem sent us out. We're, we're distant from our Father in heaven. 
You see that Avinu Shabashvayim. We are distant from the from the Father in heaven. Shekol nimshach from bechinas hachalifin shal ben amelach shenechlav shu bechinas hechalei atemuras. That we got exchanged again. We are the true princes. The world is the the servants to the Jewish people, but they claim power. But they're all imposters. We are the true princes. We're going to try to reveal that. Do you understand? We're going to try to reveal Hashem's light in the world. And when we reveal Hashem's light in the world, it puts out the fire of the world that shows that we are the true princes of the world. Rabbi David, is this amazing? Yeah. It's amazing how every day our lesson fits in exactly, exactly what's going on. Is it not amazing? <laughs> no, is it, is, no, is it not amazing how we can fit it into current events every single day? So... It, can that be a personal experience? Let me give you one example. Yeah, please. Sometimes I have trouble recognizing that I am a Kohen. I'm, I'm a Kohen priest. You're a priest, yes. And accepting that and believing that and yes, acting I like know, that. I know, I keep reminding you, remember? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for the blessing today too, sir. Yeah. I know, it's like, why is he thanking me for the blessing? I mean, so, I mean, on a personal level that can happen, it yeah. seems like... Yeah, I'm you don't. That, you, you don't, have, be, you I don't, don't believe. You don't. No, you don't believe you're different than anybody else. Right. You believe I'm the same guy like everybody else. Why? Why is it? Why am I giving blessings? But you're not. <laughs> this is. It's a story. If you don't believe it, how can you give us blessings? No, no. He believed. He believed I know. I'm he just believed saying, it. He's just. He's. He's, he's being you know. real. No, he's being real. He's being real. You understand? No, I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. That's. It's amazing. It's a hard thing. Completely hear why it, it sounds like a little bit of arrogance to think that we are chosen. Not are we better or chosen, or is that the same thing? Not, no, 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 no. We were chosen. It doesn't make me better. Make better. No, we're no. Chosen. A yeah. prince is born to a king. Did, it, did the prince do anything to be part of that family? No. no. no he's just chosen. He, yeah. he, he was born into it, right? We were all chosen. Why are we here? How did we get here? How did we get here? New buddy? York from Baltimore. I don't know where you came. <laughs> he came from Texas, Houston, Texas. You came and, from and, Texas. and you came from St. Louis. St. Louis. Where did you come from? Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Hill, New Jersey. <laughs> so how did we all get here? And we all, here? And we're all why, sitting in this room. Why us? Think about it. Why us? I don't know. I always think about this. Yeah. And we have a chance. What, uh, to do something good. And by being here, I think we are. And you have to believe that you are, you've been given the best. Right, so let, let's, do, let's do, let's do one more, let's do one more P, okay? Let's do one more thing. That came from the, from Adam Marishan again, going back to him. It always goes back to Adam Marishan because we're in this mess because of Adam Marishan, right? Right? Adam, Adam. Adam, when he ate from the tree of knowledge, good and bad, right? Her fault. That's where the Hashem put, he expelled, he expelled us from Gan Eden, remember? And he put an angel with a spinning fiery sword at the entrance so you can't get in. Right? There's an angel at the entrance with a, sp a spinning double-edged sword. A double-edged sword. That's the place of the Hechalei Atemuris. That's that chamber of exchange. When Moshe Rabbeinu, when Moshe Rabbeinu, when he made the, when he, when Hashem told him, when Hashem said to Moshe Rabbeinu, take your stick, throw it on the floor. What was it? It was a stick, right? What happened? It turned into a serpent, right? It turned into a serpent, right? And then it went from a serpent, it went back to a stick. There's the exchange. See the exchange? It was a stick, a serpent, a serpent, a stick. These are the neshamas that are stuck. These are the neshamas that are stuck in there, and they're and they're bound in there. Beklipas noiga mezgalim begilgula. Oy ga yo yo yo. They're just stuck, and they're just winding, rolling around, and they're rolling around. They have no, they no reprieve. 
Umisham nim shakum with kines hakalifim vatemur shabaylam, and that's where all of the neshamas that come, the klipas noga. We learned about klipas noga. You know what klipas noga is? Klipas noga is is uh, the Tanya speaks a lot about this also, right? Is the, is is something that 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 you can elevate? It has the opportu- ability to elevate something, right? So, like, let's say you take an apple, right? Right, an apple is klipas noga, right? Why? I'll explain it to you. Is it clip and why? Because an apple, you can do two things with. You can make, you could look at it. You could see how beautiful the shape is. You could see how beautiful the color is, whether it's a green apple, a red apple, a pink lady apple, whatever one you like, the red crunchy one, red delicious, or, or a Macintosh apple, or all different apples, right? I don't know how many apples, who knows? Who even knows, right? You take the apple, right? So that's a clip and You look at it. You see how beautiful it is. The color is beautiful, right? The color is beautiful. And then you make a blessing. Baruch ato Hashem. Blessed are you Hashem. Elokeinu melacham. You are the king of the world. Bore pri ha'etz. You were the one that made this apple. You made this fruit of the tree. You made it Hashem. Right? Eitz hadas tovera. Right? The tree of knowledge. Right? Hashem, you made that tree, you made this tree, you made this apple. And you take a bite of the apple after you made that blessing, right? And you thank Hashem, wow, it's so delicious. It's crunchy, it's juicy. Wow, thank you, Hashem. Did you have to make me something so delightful? No. Did the apple have to have any color to it? Did it have to have any taste to it? No. So you thank Hashem, you recognize that. There's another guy that takes the apple, takes it, takes a bite into the apple, doesn't think of a God at all. So klipanoga is something that you have that you can elevate. It has the possibility of elevating. Well, let's say you take a piece of pork, right? A piece of pork is not klipanoga. You can't do anything with it. It's from the shalish klipas of Timaeus, right? It's from the three, it, 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 of impu- it's only impure. You can't raise it. Noga means you can, it has the potential, the ability to be raised. But you could do it either way. It's like when you come to a road, I understand like a fork in the road, right? You come into a road, right? You come to the, a, a junction and there's a fork, right? You can go to the right or you can go to the left, right? What's a fork in the road? Is that what a fork in the road is? You can make a choice. Muppets. What? The Muppets. The what? <laughs> That's why in the Muppet movie. Oh. You go either way. You come to a fork oh. in the road, and they have a real fork. Oh, they have a fork. fork okay, yeah. but then we, we know the expression, the fork in the road. You can go to the right and to the left. left. That's yeah. Klipanoga. I can take this to the right, I, I can bring it towards our shell. What does yoga mean exactly? Uh, uh, I don't know the exact. I know what we're saying. I'm just trying to. I don't, I don't, I don't know the exact translate. I don't know how you, I, I can tell you how you translate. I don't know what it, I don't know the actual translation of the word noga. What does it say in your book? Klipa noga. What does it say in your book? Klipa noga. Klipa noga. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't translate. <laughs> no, it doesn't. See? Oh, it doesn't translate. <laughs> it's a term in the Zohar, okay? It's a term in the Zohar, so. Wait, I'm just wondering. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I, again, I can explain to you what it is. I don't, I, I can't, I, okay. Uh, uh, Thank you for not making it up. <laughs> I'm not, I don't make, listen, I, if I know something, I tell you, if I don't know, I tell you, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was trapped in the sling. The klipa snaga ham is galgal in the galusa, misham, nimshach, and mechines, achalipim, vatemuras, that's where all the things get exchanged. And that's where the things can go wrong. Shemisham, ikra, achizas, asitra, achachas, v'shalom, that's where the sitra, achar, attaches himself to. He loves to attack us. He loves to take those things and take those things and make them go wrong. On the Shem, we could raise it up. We can do amazing things with on the Shem every day. But it, it's a klipa no good too because it can go the wrong way. I can, I can do the wrong thing with it. Yeah. They, they, they uh, give you a definition, all right? It's called the, literally the shining klipa. So no one must be yeah. shining, okay? The dimension of the klipa in which the light is intermingled with the shell differs from other klipa that its spiritual potential, the brightness within it, can be redeemed by man's constructive intent or making use of the physicality which is... Like we said, the apple, the example that I gave you. You can raise up the light of Hashem. You can raise it up. Or it can be lowered down because if I, I take the klipa from it 
and I just attach myself to the husk of it, then I don't do anything. You I, say I, something like a piece of pork, you can't because it doesn't have it. It has no light. There's no light in there. It's all dark. It's dark. It's, all dark. it's dark. You have nothing to there's nothing to redeem. There's nothing to redeem in it. That's what the clip. That's how I understand the clip. And no guy, I think it makes sense to what you just read, right? It also says what? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. It also says we can go from incarnation to incarnation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the incarnation. Yeah, we were reincarnated. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's the golas of klal yisrael, the klal of But we have to understand that really. We need to remember, we need, let's leave this today like this. We have to remember that we are the true princes of the world. And the same way Rabbi Nachman said that there's this place of the Heichel Atemura. And he told Rabbi Nassim this idea. And then he said, I'm going to tell you this story to understand it. So Rabbi Nachman gave us a real story that we can understand, that we can really attach to our life today. Right? And really what's going on, how you have the real prince was, was, which was exchanged for the imposter. And the imposter is the one that believes that he's in control and he's cruel to the real prince. He's cruel to the real yeah. prince. That's so. how like the world thinks that they are the prince. Exactly. The United Nations is, the, the United Nations is exactly this. Wow. The biggest Sheker of the Sheker. That's the house of Sheker. They should call it the house of Sheker. The house of lie. The, the, that's all they do there. I'm sorry, everyone, but that's the, the truth, no, that's... whether you like it or not. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Cold too.